Hi there, it's Cole Grath again, and uh, it's time to revisit a subject on Towncraft that's gotten very popular lately. Uh, that is player trade signs. On Towncraft, you have the ability to trade with other players. As you can see, we have a very vibrant trading community. Uh, all kinds of people putting their signs up. And you can do two things with a trade sign. One, you can sell something you have, or you can buy stuff from other players automatically. And I'm going to show you both ways really quick to kind of clear up some confusion about how to do this. So, we'll go over here, and let's do the first way first. I have a stack of 64 diamonds I want to get rid of, and I want to sell it for a good price. So, let's see, here's what we want to do. You want to put a sign up, and the very first thing you want to put on there is the word trade in brackets, just like that. Uh, in fact, you don't even have to capitalize the T. It'll happen automatically. But you do have to do the brackets. Bracket, trade, bracket. Just like that. The next line is, how much money do you want to charge uh, for what you're selling? Let's say, for example, we want to sell these diamonds for $600 a piece. So we put that price in, $600. Now you need to decide, how many am I going to sell at a time? That $600 price I put in, is that for one diamond? Ten diamonds? What is it for? Uh, let's say, for example, I want to sell ten diamonds at a time. I would put 10, I'm sorry, 10, and then diamond, okay, and that's telling it I'm selling 10 diamonds at a time, and then a colon, and then it wants to know how many I'm selling at a time. I mean, how many I'm selling total. In this case here, I'm going to sell 60. It has to be multiples of 10 to be able to work. Because um, if you don't, let's say if I do 64, and I tell it done, oh, actually it changed it automatically. See how it changed it from... Uh, 64 to 60, so I guess that's the new feature. Very cool. Uh, but that's why it changes it. It has to be a multiple of 10. Now, um, when you kill a sign, see how it went right back into my inventory? I got 64 diamonds again. Uh, if someone had bought one, uh, I could right-click on the sign and get paid. Uh, now, um, another thing to watch out for, I noticed a lot of people have trouble with their signs where they'll try to set it up and they'll do the price. And because they see that colon zero afterwards, they'll add it to their own sign. Um, here we'll do one dime at a time, selling 64. Now watch what happens. Red, not blue. And it says error, invalid sign. Uh, red means it's not working. Blue means it's working. The reason why this is wrong is you, can, you do not add that colon zero. That happens automatically. What these signs mean is this. This is a trade sign. Then it says five dollars and the colon zero whatever the, the zero will change to a price when someone starts buying something uh, as people buy and I don't know if I have any signs here where people bought something yeah here we go see how this is, says 10 colon 120 that means Drake at seven whereas his name's at the bottom has hundred twenty dollars waiting to be collected he's in this colon zero means he's sold out so he's bought it someone's bought up all of his cobblestone and he's got 120 bucks waiting for him so back to our sign Let's go ahead and kill that. So just to recap, trade, and we're going to sell the diamonds for $600 a piece. I'm going to do one diamond at a time, colon, and I'm going to do my whole 64 stack. Do not put your name on line four. That happens automatically. And do not put the colon zero after the price. That will make your sign not work. Okay, so that's two big mistakes I see happen all the time. That will save you a lot of frustration. Click done and it automatically fixes it. You know it worked because it's A, it turned blue, and B, it automatically puts your name in gray underneath. Now people can start buying and look just like Timberwolf did. Timberwolf just bought a diamond from me, so hooray, we're already making money, and I can right-click the sign, and it added the money to my account. $600 has been added. I'll show you another cool thing. I'm gonna give myself one diamond. Okay, if you hold your item in your hand and right-click on your sign, See how it went to 64? You can restock your sign that way. That way you don't have to make a new one every time you want to put more stock in. So right-clicking your sign with the item you're selling will restock it. Now, the other way you can use a trade sign is if you want to buy things all the time from other players. Let's say, for example, I am in the diamond trading business, uh, and I want to buy diamonds from people. Well, I can make a sign. In fact, we'll go over here where all these guys are and, and squeeze a sign in right here. And we're going to say trade, same as the other way. But the difference is this time for the price, you don't put a dollar sign here. You put what it is you want to buy. We want to buy one diamond. So we bought the one diamond. 
and, and then we want to tell it how much we're willing to pay. I will pay $500 for a diamond. Now, you have to put a colon after the price for this time. Okay, I know I, I know. before you said don't put it, don't put a colon zero. Uh, this time we'll, we do want to put a colon because you need to tell it, okay, yes, I'm spending $500 per diamond. How much money am I willing to spend total? In this case here, I will invest $5,000. That's 10 diamonds I can buy. So you've got trade, what you're buying, how much you're paying per item with a colon, and then how much total you're spending. Click done. And now it says 5,000 has been taken from your account. Now, when people have diamonds, if they right click on that sign, see, someone just sold a diamond to me. Okay, now watch this. They sold a diamond, they, they got their money. That's why that number changed from 5,000 to 4,500. That means that there's only 4,500 bucks left for me to spend there. Uh, that tells people that they can still sell their diamonds. When I right click on it, it puts the diamond right in my inventory, which is cool because then I can come right over here and flip it for a hundred dollar profit by putting my sign. Turns it to 65. Pretty cool, huh? So that's it. This is at Warp Trade, and you can and anybody can put a sign up on these boards over here or these boards in the back. I got two boards up, and there'll be more boards added as this this place fills up. So come on down, sell all your goods. And you'll notice we're buying less stuff at MessMart. So this is definitely a good place to turn a profit and sell your goods and buy your goods. So uh, so I'm going to wave to YouTube. And we're going to say goodbye from TomCraft.